Hello everyone, so as you can see here, I have a binder in front of me, and this can only mean one thing. It is time for a binder update, um, or as I should say, a photo card collection update. Um, I think the last one I posted was in August of this year, so I don't really remember exactly what I had at that time compared to what I have now. I do know that obviously my collection has grown because it does I mean, weekly at this rate. Um, so there's definitely gonna be a lot of new things here since my last update, um, but don't count on me to tell you what the new things are because I don't know. So anyways, we are going to start here with probably one of my favorite binders and that is my NCT binder. Um, this contains all NCT units. So 127, U, Dream, Wavy, literally anything that has to do with NCT. So. This video is going to be quite long, just a fair warning, so if you'd like to get a snack or something, pause now and please do so because yeah, we're going to be here a while. Um, so here is the NCT binder. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off my light. One second. There we go. Now we have a less of a glare. So anyways, here is where we start. Um, in terms of album collection, NCT is complete. So we do have a lot of cards here. We start with their first album. Um, I do collect Taeyong, Yuta, and Johnny. Um, that's not news at all if you've watched any of my previous videos. But at this time, Johnny was not part of this comeback. So I collected my Canadian son, Mark, instead. And then we move on to Cherry Bomb, where I collected everyone because there's only one card per member. For those who don't know, NCT is my alt group, so I try to collect as much as I can for them. Um, here are some of the postcards from, did I, nope, these are from Limitless. And then we move on to the stickers. Somebody, no, I pulled this Taeyong and then, no, yes? I'm pretty sure I pulled the giant Taeyong and then somebody gifted me Doyoung or it was vice versa, but I'm pretty sure I pulled giant Taeyong, so that was exciting. Then we have all of their little heads, <laughs> the other stickers. This album was kind of the weird one. It didn't really come with anything that was like easy to store in a binder, if that makes sense. It was kind of all over the place. I did originally pull Mark's uh, sticker set and somebody traded with me so I could have Taeyongs, which is so amazing. Um, this is Yuta's poster, and then we move on to Empathy, um, and because Empathy was like a full NCT comeback at the time, I collected my top six instead of my top three, so we have Taeyong, Johnny, and Yuta, but then we also have Ten, Jungwoo, and Chenla. Um, if they did by any miracle an OT like 21 uh, release, I would probably also add, I, I think Sorry, Shelly, don't kill me, but I think I'd probably replace Jungwoo with Xiao Jun. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if that'll ever happen. So then we have all of their little postcards. There's that. And then we have the weird Jisung pages thing where they forgot to print them, I think, was the situation that happened. So there's that. Then I have, is this, yeah, this is Yuta's um, diary entry. I recently traded for that. And then we have the Japanese release chain. So I collected Taeyong, Johnny, and Yuta. I also have all three of their album covers. Then we have Regular Irregular, where I collected once again my top three. If there's ever more than one card per member, I usually just do my top three. And then if there's one per member, um, I try to collect everyone, it depends. But here are their postcards, there's Yuta. And then here were some of the irregular, sorry, regular, irregular, hollow special card things. So I think these are the stickers actually. So I bought my top three. And then here we have Regulate. Um, so yeah, this was a 10 member comeback and they all just had one card per member. So I collected them all, but I do only have my top three as the album covers. And then we have those thank you notes for those top three, so Taeyong, Yuta, and Johnny's. Um, and then here we have the Japanese release of Awaken, where I again collected all three of their album covers, and then I magically pulled three Taeyong, I don't even know how that happened, so I was easily able to trade for Johnny and Yuta. Then we moved into Superhuman, where yes, technically they only had one card per member, but they also had the circle sticker or circle 
I like to call them pogs. Does anyone remember pogs or am I like dating myself? Anyway, um, so I decided, you know, technically there's two things, two items per member. So I only collected uh, my top three. Once again, there was the American version postcard. And then here's where things start to change. There's no more albums, I don't think, after this point. No, that should be it. Um, so this is my like kind of special random Taeyong page. So if you don't know, uh, Taeyong is my alt bias um, and I try to collect as many things of his as I can. So this is kind of just random things, a lot of random superhuman hollow things. Um, the, is that a fan, fan party, spring fan party, something like that? This is from the Welcome to My Playground Japanese thing. This is from the school kit. Um, this collection is just continuing to grow. I have his Kino PC back here for Superhuman. This is from the fan kit, I believe. This is nothing. This is just a freebie that someone gave me, but I thought it was so cute and I never want to lose it, so I kept it there. I do have a few more of his cards on the way, some special ones, um, but I will wait to let you know what those are until they come in. Then we have a standee from Superhuman. We have a little postcard poster thingy from Superhuman. And then we have his school kit postcard, his summer kit postcard. Um, and then we have some special um, NCT tour items. So there's all that. This is from the vo voice keyring. And this one was, one of them was from the pass card holder thing. And then the other, I honestly don't remember. I think it came with the sticker set. Um, and then I got his little ID thing. Literally, anytime I see his face, like I just can't help myself clearly. So here's the stickers that I was talking about. Here's his postcard, but I also have Yuta and Johnny's postcards. And then we also have the uh, bus, tour bus thing. So I bought the tour bus. I didn't pull any of these cards. I pulled Hei Chen, um, Jungwoo, and somebody else. Young maybe I think and then I managed to trade for my top three so that was great and then this is from the DICON um, magazine I bought Taeyong's version obviously but it came with a full member set of photo cards it came with a sticker set um, and then we move on to dream so that was just one two seven as you can tell NCT is just like obviously my alts I I love them a lot and I try to collect as much as I can for them. Um, so anyways, here's Dream. For the most part, I'm pretty sure all of their albums until recently have had one photo card per member. So I've been pretty lucky and able to collect everyone. So there's that album. Here's the next one. I love this whole concept. And then here we have um, We Go Up. And then somebody gifted me this Chenla um, ID. It was an ID card. I had originally pulled Jamin's, but way back when I first started trading, I traded his ID for Chenla's card. And then I was like, I don't need the IDs. I don't care about, about collecting them. And somebody sent that to me. So that was very nice. Um, and then we have the sticker sets. And then here we have, um, this is, well, yeah, okay. So this is from, Boom, we boom. Oh my god, why am I struggling? Anyway, so I think it was these two that are from the album, and then this one was from the Kino. Don't quote me, but I think that's what's going on here. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but yes, Chenla is my uh dream bias. So there's a little scratch card. And then no, one of this is the Kino. So th those two were from the album, right? It came with two. Okay, and then I think this is the Kino. This is a special hollow thing. This is an older special hollow thing. And then this is also a special, I think it's like tour merch, if I'm not mistaken, that I ordered online uh, on Twitter from a seller. Same with these. These were like luggage stickers. I don't even remember. Honestly, I don't know why I spent money the way I spent money, <laughs> but here we go. This is the outcome. So here's the little postcard. Um, and then we move into Wavy. So this is their first album. I kind of designed this weird because I think I kind of forgot that I wanted to collect Xiao Jun as well. I was so excited that I got 10 that I forgot. So I'm going to rearrange this so I can make room for Xiao Jun. And then here's gonna be their new album. I haven't made fillers for it yet, but um, I do have everything on the way. So I have Ten's card on the way, and then I also have Xiao Jun's card and Circle uh, Pog on the way. Um, and then this was Ten's special hollow thing from the little um, card holder recently. 
And then back here from last year's, uh, well, not Amazon Basics, um, from last year's season's greetings. This was a pre-order benefit. It was random. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a bookmark or a tag or something, but I got Lucas. Um, so yeah, before I put this binder away though, I do have something to add. Now I just filmed a updating my photo card binder, more photo cards video. Um, but that was before these came in and I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. I'm going to put it probably at the end of 127, like here. So let me get a nine pocket sleeve and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here I have a nine pocket sleeve. And what I need to put away are my 2020 season's greetings. This was a pre-order benefit from K-Town for You. And it's basically a full member set of photo cards. So I figured because I just filmed a whole update um, and I don't have enough stuff to film a whole new one yet, we're just going to put these in in this video. Hopefully that's not too distracting. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to remember the order because they kind of got mixed up. But I always put leader first and then oldest to youngest. So who comes next? Is it Johnny or Utah? I never remember who's older. I'm gonna put Johnny first for now and if it's wrong, I'll switch it. Um, but yeah, so let's see. I think I'm right, I don't know. And then after Utah, it's Do Young, I believe. But yeah, these are really cute. I'm glad I pre-ordered. I think they make such a nice full set. Um, and yeah, there's only eight. Um, so that's why I skipped the top. I'll put a little filler in there probably. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to have these. I hate that Marks is the only horizontal one that low key pisses me off, but it is what it is. So yeah. There we go. And that is the full set of the 2020 season's greetings pre-order benefit from k Top for you. Um, so yeah, that was the only thing I needed to add to this binder. And yeah, we can now move on to the next one. So next up here, I have my Stray Kids slash Got7 binder. Um, I will show over here that I have two different sticker sets, one from the Yellowwood, I think this pre-order benefit, I don't remember. And then this was from the recent Stay in London photo book. Um, but yeah, so this begins with Stray Kids. We start with their first album, a mixtape. In terms of album uh, collection, I do have all of Stray Kids albums as of right now. So uh, mixtape, I do collect Changbin, uh, Felix, and Hyunjin, but I only collected uh, Hyunjin up until Miro, I believe, and then I switched to Lino. Um, but yeah, so here is I Am Not. Love the baby photos for that one. And then I do have that um, unit card on the back. And then here we have I Am Who. This collection took way too long to finish. These border cards were the death of me, but I managed to complete them, thank the Lord. Then we move on to I Am You, which is probably one of my favorite Stray Kids albums between I Am Who and I Am You. Those are like my top two. However, we'll get to recent breaking news. But yes, so here is that side. And then here is this side. And then we also have the kind of Polaroid style ones as well. And then we move in to Miro, which is exciting. Loved this album as well. And we have like, I didn't put any white paper behind it, but we have those two pre-order benefit um, things that kind of went together to make one picture. And we have the pre-order stickers. And then this was when I was kind of like, I want to collect Lino because I got that card. Love him. I've loved him for a while, but this card really broke me and I was like, I'm collecting him from now on. Um, so then we move into Yellowwood. Yellowwood, not my favorite Stray Kids album. I won't lie to you. The cards are super cute though. And um, yeah, so there is all of them. We have Changmu Felix and now Lino or Mino. I don't know. I kind of go back and forth with how I like to say his name. Um, and then here we have the, I think it was a pre-order in the limited albums. Don't quote me, but you got one set or the other. 
Then we have these random things where you're supposed to like peel the back. I didn't. Um, and then we have their postcards, which is cute. And now we have started with Levanter. Now this is the breaking news that I was going to talk about. This album has been on repeat for me. I literally can't stop listening to it. Um, but I do, while we're here, have a few cards to put in here as well. So um, we do have Lino's little blue border card, which is exciting. He actually kind of really loved me, this comeback, which I mean, I love you too. So why did I, I got a whole new um, sleeve when they were already in there waiting for me. But anyway, so here he is. And then I also, got Changbin's little um, full body card, I guess. So that's gonna start the collection on the back. I'm gonna put it at, you know what? I'm gonna put it at the bottom because these are like my least favorite, no offense. <laughs> um, so let's put him in there. Da, da, da. And then I also have Lino's full body. Oops, here. So it looks like that. And then, uh, of course, as always with every Stray Kids album, <laughs> um, I said I wasn't going to collect Hyunjin anymore, but I pulled this card and I think it's the most beautiful card ever and I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep it. However, I don't have anywhere to put it. So I'm going to keep him in a sleeve and I will figure it out <laughs> later. Um, I might put him at the back of here, but for now, we'll just gonna, we're just gonna, we'll stick him in here for safekeeping, but I will figure that out. Um, and then yes, while we're here, um, in my Stray Kids unboxing, I don't think I talked about it, but at first I was like, oh, they didn't give me a Levanter one. That was when I unboxed the three limited that I bought, but then I bought the regular ones and I did get a Levanter. So now that is complete, which is nice. And then we move into some of the lucky envelope stuff. So I was lucky enough to be able to trade. I think I pulled Lino and Felix and I just had to trade for Changbin, which was great. Um, and then I have some Changbin Polaroids on the back there as well as this little M-Wave card that I got. Um, and then these were from another lucky pouch or envelope or something. So we have Changbin, we have Felix and we have you know, again, I think I pulled basically everyone except for Changbin. He hates me and I love him. So story of my life. Here are three different circle sets of stickers. Here's a sticker pouch. And then this is from the lucky box. I'm still missing a few. So if you happen to know where I can find a mint Lino and then a, I don't know, colorful style, I think it's pink on the back version of Lino and Changbin, I would be greatly appreciative. There are some stickers. We have the unit stickers as well as regular stickers. We had some postcards that came in it. And then we move on to GOT7. So I started collecting GOT7 from the 7 for 7 era and I don't think I will be going back in time to collect older albums. Oh shoot, I didn't even see Lino there. Okay, yeah, sorry. So this is from the Stay in London uh, photo book for GOT7 and I do have, not GOT7, for Stray Kids. And I have a trade set up for the other ones that I need. So now it's GOT7. So yeah not going to go back in time to previous uh, albums before 7 for 7 but yeah so 7 for 7 i believe is complete i know that there was like second press cards i don't know if i have the right ones i don't know if i have first press second press whatever i have um is what i have i i don't know if i'm gonna go back and try and find the other ones to be quite honest and i also don't have the is it the present edition I don't remember. There's like a weird edition of 7 for 7. I don't have it. Um, so yeah. Um, and then we have Eyes on You. So I'm just missing a few. And you can tell I've had this collection for a while because this was back when I did um, filler slots for every single card that I needed, which is just a waste of paper. So I don't do it anymore. But um, yeah, so missing a few, but it's fine. The back though is complete. Um, and then I do just still need Jackson's film strip, but otherwise I have a JB and Bam Bam. So as you've noticed, this was back when I collected um, Jackson and Bam Bam as well. But as you'll soon find out, I stopped and now I only collect JB because of this album. So this is Present You. This album came with 10 cards as well as a pre-order card. So technically 11. And let me tell you, that's just some 
that that's crazy so i decided to part ways with my jackson and bam bam uh collection going forward from this era maybe again in the future if they have less cards i will consider but it's just too much and i don't think i'll be able to complete those collections anytime soon so um these are their bookmarks these are their special postcards um this is now present you and me i am obviously not done with this collection yet but we're working on it um and then we have lyric books this should be before this i don't know what happened there i'll fix it um and then we have um spinning top sorry i blanked for a moment i only need two more jbs for this collection then i'll be done um and then we have their postcard set and then we move on to their newest release which is call my name i do have one more jd to add to this collection that i recently just traded a friend for it's so cool if you look carefully his eyes are two different colors love it so thank you so much to christine for giving me not giving it to me but for trading with me you can follow her i did it again i already have sleeves ready i don't this is what I get for being proactive. Um, but you can follow her um, on Instagram. I will put her handle down below. And uh, yeah, so that is that one. Then, oh, again, as always, there's always that one photo card of like a member that I don't collect, but I cannot get rid of because look how cute this is. How was I ever supposed to trade that away? It's just not gonna happen. So anyways, we move on to um, just two, which is JB and Yukim's little side project. As you can see, don't have a lot here. I also only have one version of the album, still working on getting the other one eventually. So then we have a little random pre-order thingies. And then we move on to their tour album, which I pulled uh, Bam Bam's card. So yeah, so that is the Stray Kids and Got7 binder. Um, I think it has definitely improved since the last video, but yeah, as, as I said, I can't remember what was in the previous collection. So anyway, let's move on to the next binder. So next up here, I have my 17 binder. This is one that's also pretty much a work in progress. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna go back in time and collect older 17 albums. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna start with Teenage and go forward. Um, so yes, I only have two Woozy cards for now. I know it's pronounced Woozy. Nobody needs to tell me. I just like to say Woozy. I know it's wrong. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. So anyways, that is all I have so far. I do still need to get three versions of the album. Um, I have two versions because I cross-traded another card for one of his cards. So that's why I have two here. Um, the sticker set that came with it and then we move on to uh director's cut which was my first 17 album that i bought i actually bought it when i went to korea like two years ago <laughs> um and i remember i pulled i think it was th this woozy card or this it was one of them i definitely pulled a woozy card and i was like shook because out of 13 members i can't i couldn't even believe that i had pulled my bias um but yeah so back in the day i collected both woozy and ming hao um you'll see that I have slowly started to cut him out and that is all because of their recent album. We'll get there. Anyway, um, this was the postcard set for both Lucy and Ming Hao. And then we move on to, um, you set this, no, you, <laughs> I, I read set the sun, um, the You Make My Day album. So what I don't love about this, and like other groups do too, but 17 is like really bad for it, where like the two different versions of the photo card look almost identical and it kind of bothers me, but a collection wouldn't be complete without everything. So here I am. Um, so this is where I started to get rid of the eight or Ming Hao, and that is because I just simply cannot collect the amount of cards that I would need to collect to be able to complete both of them. Um, it just wasn't high enough on my priority list. So that is what has happened. So anyways, this is the You Made My Dawn album and I am missing just one little single lonely woozy. Um, so I will get him eventually. Um, and then we have, oh, somebody gifted me this little HMV card, which thank you so much. Love it. We have the, was were these tattoos or stickers? I don't remember, but here they are. 
And then we have a bunch of the lenticulars, I'm missing a few, as well as the behind the scenes cards, I'm missing a few of those as well. And then here, the cause of all my sorrows was um, the ode. This album came with 20 cards per member. Um, I will never forgive Pledis for that, but anyway. So that was one of my main like reasonings for getting rid of the eight because I just couldn't see myself collecting 40 cards. Anyway, here we go. So I'm missing one for Begin. I'm not missing anything for The Poet, which is great because it's my favorite. Um, for Hope, I am missing the Circle card. I think I switched those around. Oops. Um, I kind of did it here too, but I am missing the Circle card for what are you? Truth. And then I'm missing one photo card for real. And then we do have some of the little mini posters. So we have Begin, we have uh, The Poet, we have Hope, and then I think I have one other one on the way and then the other I still need to purchase. So I'm like almost done with the an Ode collection, which is fantastic. Um, we have the sticker sets from an Ode. We have the Kino postcards from an ode, and because I bought the Kino album, I was like, well, I'm gonna keep the eight because I had to get rid of him for other reasons, for other albums, I'll keep him here. And then somebody gifted me these two um, Polaroids from the 17 World Tour, Ode to You, which was so kind. Thank you so much for that. And then last year I purchased their uh, season screenings, which came with a full set of photo cards. So that is what you're seeing here as well as on the back. And then it also came with postcards and it also came with a random unit. And this was the one that I got. So yeah, that is the 17 binder. And now we can move on to the next one. Okay. So next up here, we have the Monster X binder. Now this is another one that is also one of my favorites. In terms of albums, I am done with Monster X, which is exciting. Um, and yeah, this was a fun collection to complete. I'm pretty sure I'm all up to date with photo cards as well as, I mean, at least the photo cards that I plan to collect. So, um, so yeah, so here we start. I collect both Juhan and Kihyun, um, depending on if it's a Japanese album or if it's something more rare, I usually just stick to Juhan, but you'll see that as we flip through. So here we go. We move on to Rush. And then we move on to the Clan Part 1. I always get the different parts confused. Also collecting these cards was a mission. I know that Carolyn is currently working on completing her Kihan collection and um, I kind of went through the same thing, but I was doing both. Juhan and Kihyun at the same time um, where I was trying to like do every single backlog of photo cards and it was so hard to keep track of what went where and I know she's mentioned that a couple times um, but yeah it was difficult I'm actually also shook that I have not or I did not um, purchase the same card twice I don't know how but we did it so um, yeah so here are uh, these cards here and then we move on to the clan part two. These are some of my favorite cards of Kihan. Um, and then we move on to beautiful, geez, I don't even like, this is how tired I am. Um, there's a hair and it's gonna bother me. This binder is too heavy. There we go. So there we go. And then we have some of these. These I'm not focused on. Like I know I don't have them all, but I really don't plan on focusing on that too much. If I like come across them, then cool, but whatever. And then we have a little, um, an oath. Was it an oath card or something? I think that's what it was called. Um, what album are you? I didn't use the album art. It's that like this paint splatter one. I was trying to go for like the sim similar aesthetic. I didn't. <laughs> it's like another part, right? Or shine forever, shine forever. No, why is my brain just completely mush? Anyway. Here are those cards. Love these ones of Juhan. Um, and then on the back here, one of those um, albums came with a sticker set, I think they are. So that's that. And then here we move on to the code. I think the code was my first month's X album. I really can't remember if it was the code or the connect. They're both kind of similar in shape and size. And I really just don't remember what the first one I bought was, but I think it was the code. Anyway, 
Um, so we have Johan at the top, Kian over here, and then I have all of their units as well. And then we move on to the Connect. So here's Juhan's page, and then on the back we have Kihyun's page, as well as their two little postcard things, or mega-sized photo cards. And then here we move on to... Are you there? <laughs> I struggled. Is it are you there or we are here? It's are you there, right? Are you there? Right? Huh? Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. Here are they, here, here, oh my god, here they are. We have Juhan's cards as well as any unit that he was in. So this was the Shonu, uh, Juhan, and Wano units. So I have all of those ones. And then on the back, we have all of Kihan's cards. This one is still probably my favorite card of all, not of all time, should I say of all time? I love skulls, so I'm biased. And then we have every unit card that featured both him and Min Hyuk. And then we have these special, like, I think they were pre-order benefits, and it is Are You There? I wasn't wrong. Um, where they're all pointing, so I got Juhan's and Kihan's, and then with the four albums that I bought, I got all four uh, group cards, so that was exciting. Um, and then I do have every member's Polaroid, so there's that. And this one my friend Shelly gave me, I think it was a pre-order benefit if you ordered from a different site, but I don't remember what it was. Um, and then here we move on to We Are Here. So we have the Juhan page, and then on the back we have the Kihyung page. And then we have again the little special uh, cards there, as well as the Juhan Kihyun unit. It's the only unit card that I needed, and I pulled it in one of my albums, which is great. And then we have all of the Polaroids that came with that album, as well as Juhan's American version photo card. And then here we move on to the newest album, Follow, Find You. Um, so this is the Juhan page, and then on the back we have the Kihyun page, as well as their standees and bookmarks. Um, and then we also have the G Market pre-order benefit um, photo card set, as well as the Kino uh, photo card set. Then we move on to Japanese releases. So we have Hero. I honestly didn't buy this album, um, but somebody gifted me this card, so I made a whole page for it. So thank you for that. Um, and then we move on to Shootout. Is this Shootout? Don't quote me, but I think it is. <laughs> um, and I did at the time collect both Juhan and Kihyun, but that changes soon um, here. So here's Alligator, where I only collected Juhan. And then we move on to X Phenomenon, where I also just collected Juhan, but because there's only one photo card per member for this, I might go back and get Kihan if I can find them for a decent price. Um, and then here we have, I believe this is from the fan kit, but we have both Juhan and Kihan. I also loved these postcards. I usually put white paper behind, but I love the design on the back of these, so I didn't. <laughs> um, and then we have the Tony Moly lip tint cards, um, and then we have Juhan's Tutok gum cards, um, and then we move on to the Connect um, Tour DVD photo card set. We have Juhan's, are these called Kingdom cards? I think it's called like Kingdom or something, I don't know, but we have Juhan's and I put some sparkly paper in there with him to make him truly look like the royalty that he is. Um, and then we have the We Are Here Tour uh, card set, so I got Juhan's over here, as well as this postcard. And then we move on to the We Are Here World Tour DVD photo card set. And then I also got the Kino version, which came with this Polaroid set, like so. And then it also came with a sticker set. The Kino honestly came with so much. And then here, these are actually unofficial, but they were given to me at a cup sleeve event, and I just thought they were so cute. Um, this confetti is from the concert that I went to in New York. And then this is from last year's Seasons Greetings. So yeah, that is everything there for, oops, for Monster X. So we can now move on to the next binder. So next up, I have the newly renovated BTS binder. If you remember from one of my previous videos, I don't even remember which one it was, probably one where I put away or sorted photo cards, but 
I said that my BTS binder needed the most work and I've gone in and finally fixed it up a little bit. So um, I'm still missing a few BTS albums, but I think that is the collection that I would like to complete next. Um, so hopefully in the new year, that'll be a goal to complete that album collection so I can work on completing the photo card collection. Um, I used to collect more than one member. I almost wanted to collect everything for BTS, which is just crazy. Um, so I have dramatically cut down that and now we are only working on Suga for most albums, Jimin in some as well, but that's about it. So this is from School Love Affair. We have Yoongi's little ticket thingy. Um, I recently traded my Jungkook for him, so that's exciting. Um, and then we move on to, um, is it the most beautiful moment in life part one? So I recently traded for that to Yoongi. And then we have the most beautiful moment in life part two. So I have this one, and then I also would like to collect Jimin for this album. And then we move on to Wings. I would also like to have Jimin. And then, I mean, there's a fourth slot, so, and I still need two albums. So I guess whoever I pull, I'll keep. I don't really care. Um, and then we move on to You Never Walk Alone. I pulled the Yoongi, which is amazing. And um, I would like to collect Jimin as well. And then we move on to Love Yourself Answer. Um, as you'll soon find out for the whole entire Love Yourself saga. Um, I didn't pull a single sugar card out of 12 albums, so that's my life. Um, so yeah, that's blank. And then we move on to Tear, which is also blank. And then we move on to Answer, which I actually just recently traded for. Didn't pull him, but found trades. So we have two of his cards, at least for that series. Um, and then we move on to Persona, in which I bought two sets of albums. I only pulled this one Yoongi, managed to trade for everything else. I don't even think I pulled a single Jimin. I had to trade for all of these. So BTS has just been proven to give me migraines when it comes to collecting, but we did it. Um, and then I have every member's, uh, I was gonna say photo card, but postcard. So there they all are. And then of course there's all the random things that came with the album. Then we move on to BTS world in which somebody was very kind and traded with me. Um, two different people, but so happy to have both of Yuki's cards. And then we move on to the uh, tour cards. I don't have all of Yuki's yet. I think, yeah, I'm missing three. So, um, I mean, maybe eventually one day. I'm not, like I said, BTS, um, or my BTS collection is not my main priority at the moment, but we'll, we'll work on it slowly. These are from the army bomb. There you go. This is from the tour when I went in Hamilton, Ontario. Um, and then these are some Japanese cards. I don't have a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm missing four. And then this is all kinds of memories from when I went to see them in Chicago last year. And we have the fourth muster and I pulled RM. He's still here. If anyone wants to trade for Yuki, I'd love to, but these ones are more valuable and I just don't want to put them in stamp shipping because I'm worried about it. But I mean, well, I don't know. I'm probably just going to keep them to be honest. Um, and then we move on to some mustard cards. I just, I wasn't going to buy these. And then I saw this one and I was like, how can I not like look at that smile? But I can't only have one because my collector brain was like, you need to have them all. So here we are trying to collect them. Um, I am missing four as well here. Um, and then here we move on to the tour DVDs. I originally pulled RM for every single one, but somebody traded with me, which is very kind. Um, these are more things that just came with the tour DVD, um, some postcards, and then we move on to their season's greetings from last year. So these are like the little ID photo set. And then we have um, Shuda's little baby photo. I originally pulled J-Hope, but traded with a friend. These also came with the season's greetings. And then uh, these were a postcard set that I got when I bought my Puma shoes in Seoul. Um, so that was exciting for me. 
and then these were some of the hip hop monster stickers that I bought when I was in Seoul as well. And then these are some other random fun things that I picked up or got when I went to Dunkin' Donuts in Seoul. So that is everything for the BTS binder. Um, and now we can move on to the next one, which is the biggest binder that I have. So let's take a look at that. So next up we have this big bad boy. This has a whole bunch of my boy group photo cards in here. Um, I'll probably have to separate it out a bit more eventually because it is getting pretty full. Um, but yes, so it starts out with ATs. So here we have the first album. I did collect everyone and I plan to do the same for the second album. I do have Wu Young on the way, but I also have Songhua on the way as well. And then I just need to still um, get the rest eventually. Um, and then we move on to Treasure uh, One to All. So I am complete with this. I also have the My Music Taste, whoa, sorry. So we have the My Music Taste cards here. At this point, I moved on from collecting everyone because now that there's more than one card per, per person, um, not financially able to collect everyone. So my top two are Yasang and Songhua. So here they are. Um, and then on the back here, we just have some of the group stuff that came with the album. And then here we have, um, what is this, all to action? Don't quote me. But again, I have basically everyone. I'm just missing this one, My Music Taste, Songhua, and it's been impossible to find. So please help me if you can. Um, again, group stuff on the back. And then we have the anniversary edition album. So we have um, both Yosang and Songhua complete. And then we also have their uh, postcards, I guess. These were my music taste exclusive. And then we move on to Super M, which I have the other Taeyong to put away today. Again, my friend Christine traded with me, so thank you so much, Christine. So here he is, such a cute card. I'm in love with it. Um, and I do have a Taemin on the way, and then I just need to get the other Taemin, and I will be done with the American Press cards, which is exciting. I do want to collect the Korean Press, but I do not have any of the albums. I don't know if I'm going to collect them. Probably not, but I do want the cards, so I'll have to figure that out. Next up, we have Victon. Now, this is a new development. I know 100% that this was not in the binder in August um, because this is a recent obsession of mine, but I am in love with Victon. They have shot their way right up to the top of my heart. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I couldn't even decide who I wanted to collect. I was almost going to collect everyone, which is stupid. I was almost going to collect three people, but I'm like, Maria, you need to chill. So my top two have officially been chosen, and that is Sejun and Sungshik. So that is who we're aiming to collect. And when I bought all of their albums, if you haven't seen that unboxing, please watch it because it's pretty hilarious. I pulled so many Sejun and I never had luck like that in my life. So there's one of his cards. There's another one of his cards from the second album. And then from the third, I pulled a Sunshik. And from the fourth, I pulled another Sejun. Like, you don't even understand. My luck was crazy. Then I opened this album and I didn't pull either. But you know what? Can't complain. Um, and then, oh, I have to... So here's the thing. I have not bought these albums yet. And that is because they are on my birthday slash Christmas list. I think I've mentioned that in many previous videos. Um, my birthday has passed. But my birthday... Or sorry, but Christmas is still coming. Um, and I'm seeing a couple friends. So, and we're having a whole gift exchange. So we'll see. Um, and if I don't get them, like I will, they will be the next albums that I purchase like instantly. So anyway, the problem here is that for this album, I could not decide between two or three people. And I, when I made my, um, fillers decided on two, but now I'm like, uh-uh. So we want Sejun, we want Sungshik, but we also want Hanse for this album. So I have to make a filler for that and then we can collect all of them. Then we move on to CIX. So here we have, um, because I bought two regular edition, but then I also bought two um, M-Wave editions, I was able to get all the cards because this album actually came with quite a few. So by buying four albums, I actually literally pulled everyone. So 
that was exciting and now that's done and then for the new album here um i'm basically done soon i have these two cards on the way but his other my music taste is another one that i have not been able to find anywhere so would appreciate help finding that um and then on this side over here we have bx i managed to pull both of his my music taste but i do need to buy both of his regular cards still so yeah so that is cix and then we move on to one us so this collection is basically complete i saw that they have a new japanese single 808 i think is what it's called um and I, it looks like there might be some sort of photo card or postcard i can't tell yet um we'll decide in the future if i feel like collecting those but for now one us is done so here's the first album um i collect oops i collect uh one room so that is who you're seeing here here's the second album as well as postcards we have the third album my friend um and roommate uh so graciously gifted me that i will leave his instagram down here as well so that you can follow him um and then we move on to x1 where my bias is Sungyeon, but um we don't really know what's going on with x1 still so can somebody please update us that would be great thank you um so yeah there are all of his things and then my second bias is hong Jun. no that's not his name what's his name hyung hyung jun hyung jun oh shit i call him my second bias i don't even know his name it's been a while okay x1 hasn't been doing anything and i already forget <laughs> but anyways i think he's adorable and yeah so that was x1 and then we move on to sf9 not a priority for me but whenever i have the opportunity to trade for zuho i do so that is why i have quite a few of his things here missing quite a few as well but it's fine um and then there's that this one is complete because i have the special cards on the back here as well and then here um i'm pretty sure i have this um concept card on the way but i do still need his max version photo card and then we move on to astro so this is the all light album i'm missing a few jinjin um and then i think i'm yeah i'm just missing one mj and then that collection will be complete i'm missing jinjin's second lyric book but i do have both of mj's um do, 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 do. so there's all that and then we have astro's new album i don't have anything in here yet i did buy this version of the album but i didn't pull any jinjin or mj but i am in the process of trading so this is going to be jinjin's side and then this is going to be mj's side so there's all that and then we move on to Taemin. This collection probably hasn't changed. I haven't worked on it, but I really would like to. I do want to complete this album collection as well. I love Taemin, so um, there's that. And then we have the Move Ink album. Um, and then we have the Want album, as well as some of the standees, I'm just missing one. And then this is where the binder starts to get a little messy, but this is kind of like groups that I buy albums for, but I don't really strictly or, um, well, not religiously, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't really focus on collecting all of their cards. I just kind of, if I pull, let's say like somebody who's not my bias, I'll trade for like one photo card of my bias and that's it. Like I won't collect everything. So this is day six. Um, my bias is one pill and I kind of just, collect whatever one pill i can get my second bias is dolun so i keep him as well if i can um so here are some postcards that come in the albums here are some more here are those weird transparent things <laughs> um and then here is like a i think it was supposed to be like a writing pad i guess you just like put it down underneath your paper i don't know um so there's that and then again messy once again we have a kind of like random girl group page so we have a bit of itsy my bias is yeji and then we have a bit of everglow and my bias is mia um so there's that and we have the itsy postcards which i meant to take out of here because you'll see why later but i forgot but here they are and then we have um all of the little instagram looking photo cards from genius heyday 
as well as the postcards. I think these were Cape Town for You exclusive, but don't quote me. And then there was a sticker set as well. Um, and then we kind of move on to the random EXO-ish page. So we have like EXO-SC, we have Baekhyun's solo album, um, and then we have some EXO albums as well. My bias from EXO is Shimin, um, but I love Baekhyun and I just loved this Chen Yul card, so I kept it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Then we have random The Rose cards. Um, my bias is probably Wusung. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to actually be meeting them on Saturday. Um, there's a convention in Canada, in Toronto, called K-Pop North that's coming on Saturday. And I have a high touch pass for the rose. So I'm very excited about that. I'll probably be, probably be vlogging my experience. I obviously don't think I'll be able to vlog the high touch, but we'll see. Um, and then we have TXT. I don't have their new album yet, but again, that was on my birthday Christmas list, so we'll see. And then if I don't get it, I will um, just go and buy it for myself. Then we have another random like boy group page. Has a bit of Ace, has a bit of Block B, has a bit of Tang, has a bit of, oops, sorry, has a bit of Yesung um, from his solo album, uh, Pink Magic. And uh, yeah, and then there's like a little tattoo set from Ace. So yeah, that is the random kind of all over the place of boy group binder because I can't have a single binder for every single group that I collect. So this is kind of the mismatch one. Although I can see ATs getting their own binder in the future and possibly Victon. We'll see. But anyways, there is that binder. I think we only have one more left to go through. Um, so let's check that out. So last but not least, we kind of have a new-ish binder that has recently been developed but basically in uh in one of my older not older videos in one of the ones that i recently posted i mentioned that the postcards take up a lot of space in my binders and i decided to give them their own binder which is why earlier i mentioned that i forgot to take itsy out and that's because i just want to put them in this binder as well so any time any album or whatever comes with a pre-order benefit set or not pre-order but just like any full set of photo cards or oh my god of postcards i will be putting them in this binder if an album comes with a random postcard and then i end up only collecting one member that can stay in the regular binders but if it's a full set of like seven plus postcards they go in here so these were from present you and it was a full member set as well as a few group photos and then these were all the ones that just came in the call your name there were four sets of postcards so yeah those are not going in the binder because look at how much room they take up they didn't fit in the three pocket sleeve so i had to put them in two pockets which makes them take up even more space like it's thick um i'm so happy i have them all but yeah they couldn't go in the regular binder same goes for the monster x kino postcards there were three postcards per member so again took up a lot of space in the binder um and then these were from the season's greetings last year so they have stayed in here as well. Um, and then we have BTS postcards that came with their face masks. Again, there's so many. I only have two sets and they take up so much. Can you imagine if I get the other two? Like, holy cow, so many postcards. Um, I do have all of like the random Stray Kids pre-order benefit postcards, but they're actually back home at my parents' place. I forgot to bring them with me. They're already in their own binder, so because those took up way, way too much space. Um, but yeah, and then we also have Astro from All Light. They gave us some full member sets as well, which is always nice. I love that photo of MJ. Um, but yeah, so that was the random postcard binder, and I think that brings us to the end of my photo card collection update. It's been a journey. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I know this video was long if you made it this far. Wow, good for you. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye-bye.